Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're going to be playing Kitty Cart 64. So, I don't normally play racing games as they tend to be a little frustrating with the rubber banding. Uh, especially the more aggressive rubber banding. But I haven't played a racing game since what? The Mario Racers or whatever the fuck it's called on um, the Wii. So I was like, you know what? Why not? So, here we are. But, first things first. All of this goes way down. <laughs> there we go. I tried to change it beforehand, but it doesn't save when you exit the game. So that's a shame. Alright, let's see. Do we have... Oh, Three, straight into it. Two. Okay. Okay, hop. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I... Uh, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of would have liked the tutorial. Granted, they have the controls on the page for this game. But... Looking at the controls in a web page and playing it very different oh oh i can go off track cool okay wait is this a racing game i thought it was <laughs> okay, that is actually kind of satisfying. Um, so this doesn't seem to be a drift. Am I... Am I missing the point of this game? So, I am supposed to complete laps. I think I'm supposed to go the other way though. Okay, so... Hmm... Okay, I guess... Okay, one piece of annoyance... There's no direction. Maybe that's the point? But... At least set me off on like what I'm supposed to do. Treat me like I'm an idiot. Kinda cause I am. Well, I guess it's not cause I'm an idiot. I get distracted, okay? I kinda just want the direction to be like, hey, you stupid. Wait, why didn't that count? Oh, son of a bitch. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Yes. Okay, wait, let me restart. Okay, round two. Let's go. Okay. So it didn't stall out, which was nice. Okay, I will say... The controls are kinda simple. Like, I mi- 
you don't know how much you miss drift until you can't do it. I mean, to be fair, the cat is kind of cute. Okay, there has to be something else going on. That is not progressing the game. So, I'm not crazy. Okay, let's test this out. Let's see what we can... Music stop, that's creepy as hell. Okay. What the absolute fuck? Okay. S was I supposed to do that? I am literally dying. Amazing. This is top tier gameplay, I guess. Okay, what? Who the hell is that? First NPC, I guess. Oh, here we go. Are desserts supposed to be hot? I can't feel anything at all. Not even the wind. Okay. A little off putting. But, yeah, you could have a hot dessert. Oh, wait, are they saying desert or desert? Oh, no. Well, the game's breaking. Wait, is the game actually breaking or is this a part of... Ah, oh, fuck. I'm not gonna lie. It's... This kind of stuff is... Hey, buddy. You okay? I can feel something now. Mmm, okay. Just... I'm gonna go somewhere else. That is not anywhere close to you. So, okay, I'm assuming this is a part of the game then, but it's just... Okay, horror-wise, it's kind of boring. Because, yeah, the glitchy game, that's haunted. What's that, 2000s trope? I don't know, I feel like it's been done to death already. Plus, okay, maybe this is me being biased, seeing as I don't really care for the gameplay. <laughs> I can feel something now. That's nice. I'm gonna go run off a cliff. <laughs> See if that does anything. Yeah, okay, maybe I don't really care for the gameplay. Because I was kind of expecting a normal race hit. Cool. Um, but... Okay. This is just weird. It's not even scary. I, d I will say I do like 
the cute character. And I feel like this game is at least well built. And it does seem like a lot of time and effort was put into the game. I don't know, it just feels like everything has been done before. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Because look at how many games actually reuse tropes, you know? Okay, I'm not escaping via the edge. So, let's change our tactics. Oh god, turning is a fucking nightmare. You know, this game does a little bit remind me of those PT clones. And I'm not even going to say in a good way. Because a lot of the PT clones, what happens? You go through the hallway like, what, three, four times before something interesting happens. And... I'm not gonna lie, it's been, what, six-ish minutes? According to the timer up there? What has actually happened? Like, I'm lost. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. And the sounds are getting grating, which is always... Ow. Always what you need, you know? The fuck happened? How do I do my camera? Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I can pop the balloons. Congratulations. I'm sorry, what the fuck? Oh my god, this is... Oh, that's fucked. Okay, you know what? I'm starting to come around. Not to that six fucking minutes of... Driving. But at least... To... An actual creepy aspect of the game. Because it's just implying that you're running over pedestrians. That's actually interesting. Okay. A little more realistic. Yeah, I wouldn't say this reminds me of, um, Mario 64, like the, um, racing one. Oh, it's called Mario Kart. Oh my god. What's that, 14 minutes into this video? And it just came to me. That's really bad. Oh, 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 oh hold up, what was that? Okay. 
Okay, whoops. So, we got... A child's drawing of a cat, I guess? A fish swimming in the air. Let's go to the right this time. We went left last time. Ooh, but it looks creepy. Oh, character, who are you? Okay. We'll go right on this one. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks like a, um... A Animal Crossing character. Which is interesting. Though, oh my god, if I can complain about that. I love Animal Crossing on the GameCube. Such a great game. But, I don't know if it's because... Okay, that's the same character. I don't know if it's because now I'm older and I expect more out of my games. Or... The game just sucked, but Animal Crossing for the Switch was just tedious. There's some items that just would never spawn for me. And I like playing games as a single player experience. And I understand that was a more... Maybe multiplayer... Ooh, ooh, what's this? Okay. And I get that was kind of more focused multiplayer, but like, at least make it more enjoyable for single player experiences. Because I guess some of my biggest issues is that customization was there, but it was so hard to get some items and certain colors. Um, because you couldn't just change the color of them, but with other items you could. So that kind of bugged me in a way, you know? It was just... Yeah, it was just frustrating, I guess. Oh, hey, we're back here. Okay, so we got... Okay, I'm not doing all this fucking loop again. We're gonna head this way. Okay, we came from that way originally, I think. Okay, let's head this way. Let's head down. Ooh, finally. Something interesting. But, yeah, I don't know. I just... Maybe it's just me, but I kind of... Just wanted more out of Animal Crossing on the Switch? Am I... Is it just me? Am I expecting too much? I could be. All honestly, I could be. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not saying I like know how every game should be made. I don't make games. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay. I don't make games. I'm not gonna say how games should be made. I'm just saying I kinda want more out of the games I do play, you know? And it would be nice. Like, for this game, for example, like, it's a lot of driving around, but not a lot of anything happening. I appreciate some of the open world aspects to the game, but I wonder if the game was a little more railroady, if that would help. With at least my experience. Because 
I don't know. At least for now, it kind of feels like the game's incomplete. Okay, follow the arrow, so go this way. And, I don't know, for me, that's a little bit of an annoying. Oh. Okay, that gave me a little bit of a shit. Okay, that's a red arrow. Let me check that first. Of course, you're gonna point me down the creepy fucking uh, underground parking lot. Okay, is there anything? Okay. I appreciate the atmosphere. Atmosphere is pretty good. But other than like the occasional creepy thing happening here or there and like that, I guess that one thing that also kind of gave me the shivers. Um, is there anything gonna actually happen? Like, actually scary? I'll even take a jump scare at this point. Here we go. What the fuck? What the actual fuck was that? Okay, so that was Kitty Cart 64. I don't know what to say about that, really. I guess. I guess my biggest issue is that, A, nothing really happened for, like, majority of it. So it was kind of boring, in a way. Like, just driving around, figuring out what to do, or waiting for something to happen. I guess, like, yeah, that's my biggest issue. I was kind of expecting a little bit of actual gameplay. If this was going to be a creepy game. But... I don't know. I guess it is what it is. And I shouldn't complain too much. I just... I don't know. I just... I guess I was kind of expecting something different. I was actually kind of excited going into this game, being like, yeah, I'm gonna be playing a racing game. And I haven't played one since the Wii, which was what, like 10 years ago or something? And then I kind of got disappointed when there was no actual racing. And yeah. Like, I don't mind it was like a um, creepy horror experience. And I actually like the visuals as a whole. Because I do miss the 64 era. I just... I don't know. I just, I guess going into this game expecting one thing and not getting that, like any of it, kind of disappointed me. And I feel like 
moving away from that and just as a horror game itself yeah it just feels like a pt clone and like not a good one like it it don't get me wrong i would say it had its interesting twist where the whole pt aspect is supposed to be like a racing game kind of thing that glitches out but i don't i just don't think it worked and i only don't think it worked due to it being too open if it if it railroaded a little more or maybe gave a bit more hints or indications of what maybe you should be doing Maybe it was, and I was just not seeing it. Like, for example, in the first level, the little crashed cart on the outside of the track. But I didn't really think anything of that. But then again, I also did like the fact stuff like the pylons was interactable. That was fun. But again, there wasn't very much of that. So it's debatable how, yeah, I don't know, it's debatable. Anyways, I don't really have much else to say about this. I would say interesting, but kind of disappointing. Yeah, but yeah, that's all I have to say. So, thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares. <laughs>